How you doing everybody? This is Hal. <clears throat> Just uh, going to do a little different uh, video here. Uh, quick shout out to uh, SK Skills out of Baton Rouge. I was watching his videos the other day and I saw that he picked up uh, what he said was a Russian, uh, a Russian SKS out of Cabela's. And uh, I guess it's been a few weeks. So anyways, I had to go to Baton Rouge here uh, this week and I decided to stop by and see if they still had any more. And uh, they had 19 of these SKSs. Uh, of course, that's not the stock that came with it. That's a Tapco uh, um, stock that I put on it, as well as the uh, the handguard or or the grip, the hand grip that you see there. <coughs> they are Romanian, not Russian. Uh, they don't have the uh, star, the Russian star, on top of the uh, top of the receiver here. So. I started doing a little bit of research, and they are Romanian, in fact. But they look Russian, Russian because they even have the bayonet, you know, that's uh, similar to, like, the Yugos and the Russians and so on. But what's nice about it is that that cover is milled. The receiver is all milled. So everything on this gun is a really thick milled steel threaded barrel. Uh, so they had them for 349 bucks. They had 19 of them, so now they have 18. Uh, I went ahead and bought the Tapco uh, stock, and uh, the, the original stock was actually pretty beat up, <clears throat> so I went ahead and changed it. And uh, I did get the one that has the bottom rail in it, just so I could get the grip on it, because uh, I like the uh, the handling better when you can hold it like that. Um, because I'm not going to uh, turn this into... Uh, Detachable magazines. I like the fixed 10-round uh, box magazine in it, and uh, actually loading these rifles with the stripper clips is uh, it's really just as fast as uh, changing the clips or changing the magazine, such as saying, uh, <clears throat> at least for this particular uh, rifle. Uh, so, anyways, it works good for me. The only problem I had was that the bayonet wouldn't fit in here because it would actually hit up on top here and it looked funny because it was angled up like this right so you would just hit here let me see if I can crook it a little bit make it crooked enough that it'll catch there there you go so that's what it, it looked like and uh, it just didn't look right so <clears throat> what I did is I measured pretty much you know how far it had to go and I noticed that I had to I had to cut down to down to the fifth rib on that rail. So I went ahead and put it on the uh, uh, on the saw up there, the radial saw, and I just held it in place and I uh, went ahead and sawed a uh, nice channel, nice groove into it. And now <coughs> it's real easy to just come over here, put it in place. And it locks perfectly uh, in place with it. Let me see if, you, if I can do that. So you can see it locks perfectly well in there. So I can't move it unless I pull it back and release it first. So it's nice. <clears throat> it just it just worked out pretty well, actually. So anyways, uh, I've just degreased it, took all the Cosmoline out, finished up putting the uh, dressing it up with the... Uh, stock on the hand guard or the, the hand grip and uh, you know uh, haven't even greased it up and oiled it up yet so it's bare right now uh, haven't shot it so I will probably shoot it sometime this weekend and uh, give you a report on it but this will go well with the rest of the collection and uh, got plenty of 762 by 39 ammo I really like that uh, that ammo it's uh, in my opinion superior to the 223 just simply because it has uh, more energy to it uh, down range. Uh, I'm not expecting to take, you know, shots beyond 300 yards, and for 300 yards is plenty accurate, especially the SKS. The AKs are not, you know, uh, what I would consider an accurate rifle for long shooting, anything beyond 150 yards. You know, <clears throat> you have to be careful. But the SKS is a, total, uh, it's a totally different animal. This guy really, uh, I used to have one 15 years ago. Mine, uh, the old one I had was in Orinco, and, and uh, I, I'm here to tell you those things are accurate. 
that is a very accurate gun. Uh, have no problems taking it up to 300 yards. Of course, the energy, you know, out there, uh, it's not the greatest, but it sure is far superior to the, to the 223 or the, uh, you know, the 556. Five, five, uh, 556 five, just, uh, you know, it, it deflects too much in the wind. Unless you're shooting a heavier bullet, you know, something like, you know, 67 grains or higher, uh, it's just not not going to give you the performance. These things here, you get a 123 grain bullet, send it out there, and it's going to buckle the wind a lot better. So, <clears throat> anyways, the, that's the update here, and uh, just thought I'd do something a little bit different. So, God bless everybody. Thanks, SK Skill, for the, uh, for the tip on where to find them. And uh, God bless everybody, and have a great day.